In this video I'm going to start the texturing process and we'll start setting up my layers with folders and masks so that I can texture in an organized and efficient process. So with this hammer there are three different basic material types on the hammer. There's the rusted metal for the hammer head, there's the yellow plastic for the handle, and then there's the rubber for the grip. So I'm going to need three different types of materials. I can start by looking in my materials tab and if I scroll down you'll see that there is a steel rust. So I can start by that with that and what I can do is just drag that into my layer stack and this now has created a fill layer that is uh, this steel rust material and you can see that it basically looks like that but it is covering the whole thing but we'll start by taking a look at this material so that you can understand uh, some of the properties in um, these materials that are created on a fill layer if you look carefully you'll notice that there are a couple of places where well actually I need to add in some more detail on this so that you can see so if I have that layer selected and I scroll down you'll see that there are different properties for this material and the hammer that I'm uh, using as reference has a lot of rust on the material so I'm going to bring up this rust intensity a little bit and you can see as I bring that up it starts to get a little bit more rusty across the whole surface and when I do that you'll also notice that there's kind of this visible seam right here like across here as the rust is really thick right here it just stops in a line which doesn't seem very natural and if you look right here you can see the same kind of thing there's this line here and that those are the places where the there's seams in the textures like right here um, and right along this line here so that is not a particularly realistic or attractive thing to have in your textures so we can fix that by coming over to properties and scrolling up and when you in the fill properties here which says projection change that from UV projection to triplanar projection with a triplanar projection it basically is projecting that texture onto the surface from the three different world axes and then blending them together um, around the corners so that they look more realistic and flow naturally across the surface rather than being reliant on the UVs. So that fixes that problem. The other problem I have is that I only want this material to show up on the hammer head. So I am going to create a folder and I'm going to name this head that's the hammer head and I'm going to put the steel rust in that folder and then you can see that um, I still have the same problem so I, what I want to do now is create a mask that will allow the material to just show up on the hammer head so in this folder I'm going to create the mask on that so anything in that folder is affected by the mask so I'm going to select that folder, right click, choose add black mask, and then I want to use the UVs to create a mask. So I'm going to scroll down here, I'm going to make sure that white is selected over here, and then I'm going to come over to the toolbar here and choose polygon fill, and where it says fill mode, I'm going to set that to UV chunk fill. So now I can select UV shells, and it will create a mask for those UV shells. So I want to create, check all the UV shells that are on the head. And I now have just the uh, metal rust texture showing up on the hammer head. Then I can go back to the paint tool and I can continue that process. So I'm going to create another folder 
and I'm going to have the folder underneath the head, head group. So I'll create another folder, and this one I'll call handle. And in here, I am going to scroll down and choose this plastic mat. And I will put that in the folder there. And my color for this should be yellow. So I'm going to click on where it says base color here and bring that down to a yellowish orange color. And it's, don't want it super saturated. So something like that. I can always adjust this after the fact, um, but just want some base color in there now. All right, so again, with this, I only want the yellow part to be on the handle, not on the grip. So I'll go to the folder, right click, black mask, and again, go to the polygon fill, make sure UV is selected, and just click on the UVs for the handle. And then I will just close it up, create another new folder. I'll call this one grip. And for that grip, I'm actually going to start with this plastic grainy as a base material to start with that. So with this, you can see that it's way too um, big of a bump on that. So I can scroll down onto texture para te technical parameters and adjust my normal intensity so that the bumpiness isn't quite so bumpy. And then in order to make these bumps smaller, I can come up here where it says scale and that basically is going to tile the UVs. So I'm going to set that to four, and you can see that the overall scale of that comes down a little bit. And just like with uh, the hammerhead, um, as we add more details to this, I may start to see a seam where the UVs were. So again, I am going to go up here where it says projection and change this to triplanar projection. And you'll see that adjust the overall look of this a little bit more. And the overall properties, I'll adjust more as we get further into texturing. Um, but again, for this one, I am going to go to the folder again, right click, add black mask, go to my polygon fill button here, choose the handle. And you can also choose the UVs within the UV, uh, the UV, um, texture. So you can see right down here, the bottom of this still needs to be selected. So instead of selecting it there, I can select it here and it will do the same thing. So that now has been masked off. So I now have three different folders, each with a mask on it based on the UVs that are making it so that I only see the material that is in that group on that particular area. And I now have the starting point for working further on this texture. As we um, get into the next video, I will adjust the mask on the hammerhead and handle so that this top portion here uh, becomes uh, yellow instead of the metal.